Hello planner friends, it's Amber from Amber Plants Her Day and I'm coming on for a pretty quick plan with me for June 27th through July 3rd. Oh my gosh, July 3rd? I gotta set up my next planner. Oh, I think I'm gonna do that in uh, Wednesday, on Wednesday. Um, I always do a purple and yellow spread for my anniversary which is actually today monday the 27th yes i am filming this on monday the 27th but um i j like literally at nine o'clock at night um right before this uploads but it's been a crazy weekend it's been a crazy week it's been a crazy day so i just i didn't get to it um but it's never too late to plan your week you knew it was wednesday thursday you can still plan your week um i'll probably go back and like do what i did today and then plan for the rest of the week since it is like the 4th of July weekend, all those things. But um, in the meantime, we're just going to just go with the flow. So I think I'm going to use the purple blooms. Mike and I, our wedding colors were purple and yellow. So for the past like six years, we've been married for seven years, but I've only been a planner for six years, I want to say. Um, and I might have done it for seven years. I've done a purple and yellow spread. So this is just kind of holding on to that tradition. And I contemplated between these yellow and purple, but these are like more like periwinkle, like a bluish color, and these purples and yellows. And I asked Mike which one he liked better, and he did say he liked these ones. So I just wanted to show you guys. There was other options for purple and yellow, but I am going to go with just this basic one. And I kind of think I'm going to do a down the spine spread. I know I did a down the spine spread yesterday, but the other option would be like to do like a whole border spread, which I haven't done in so long, but I also don't know if there's going to be enough florals for it, but... I think we're gonna try it we're just gonna go for it I'm basically going to put one of each of those flat florals I'm literally just gonna take this out on each um, side of the page um, just so that I can have oh I think that one was supposed to go over here. Oh well. Maybe I'll just put this one up here too. Because then um, I can kind of use some of these other pieces and like put this on the corner. I'll probably cut everything after the fact. Get it. Let's see here. My page is like twisted because it was already twisted when I did that one. Let's do that. This is actually perfect for like this corner. Let's put maybe this one up there. I'm honestly just putting florals all over the place. I'm definitely going to be using all of these florals and probably the rest of this page too. Um, let's see. Maybe I can kind of put like this one. This one was definitely like kind of made for a little bit of a corner piece, but we're just gonna go with it. Let's do that one. Let's do this bigger floral like that. Let's do this one. that one okay I have one more small one it's like I think I might just put it right here okay so that is literally all the pages 
of those florals. So I can't have any inside of the spread, which to me is honestly fine. Um, but to make it easier to cut, we're going to use a paper trimmer. Let's see here. It just sometimes it's easier to like line it up with the edge of the page. Except when you have so many of these gosh darn florals sticking out. Where did my slicer go? I might not be able to use this little contraption. Dang. You know what I'm going to use though? My X-Acto knife. This is like basically the same thing here. Kind of just stuck it. Now I can kind of straight line it through where like the slicer would normally go. Then, okay. I don't like that. I don't prefer that method, but I guess that's where I'm at in my life tonight. So late at night, like I was saying. I'm gonna try to line that up. Push the stickers down. So then when I come in, just cut it right off. Except I didn't get that piece. Okay, that's pretty good. Now let's try to get this. Keep kind of hitting the Oops, didn't get that one lined up perfectly. So I'm gonna have to trim a little bit of that, which is fine. I'd rather do a little bit of trimming touch-ups than having to do this whole thing because like I said, this is actually a lot. Okay, that one is gonna need a little bit of a trim too. And then, let's see here. That one is only going to need a couple small little slices to make that go back into two pages. And let's put this thing away really quick. And I'm going to grab my scissors and just do small little touch ups. I don't actually know what would have been faster or what was faster, but whatever. We're going to go with it. Let's see, I think that for the most part, this side was pretty good. And oh, just a little bit down here. That's right. Okay. There's my border spread. Now let's get some I'm gonna go into layering basics volume two this one is available on Friday um July 1st wow Friday July 1st and I kind of just want to get some elements that I can kind of layer with these florals just like add some Kind of cool little texture to the spread. Probably add a little bit more um, around the actual spread when I add some boxes and things, but I just love like the touch of black that it adds. And then I also have colorful quotes which I think is so fun because I can use these like purples and yellows to kind of match. Colorful Quotes is nearly sold out. I do have a few bundles of black quotes with um, a with colorful quotes at a discounted rate. And those will be available on Friday, whatever my patrons did not 
um, purchase. Um, just so that you guys know that. Stay positive. Let's do another one. Um, maybe we'll just do this one. Make today amazing, like on my anniversary day. Love that. Um, so there is only a handful of the actual colorful quotes books, and then there will only be a handful of bundles as well. Okay. Make today amazing. A went all the way over here and I did not realize that. There we go. That's today amazing. Love it. I will be going into the purple blooms and the yellow blooms for some lists. Um, I don't really feel like any of these purples. I might have to do my lists right down the middle. Maybe we could do like a pattern. Purple, yellow, purple, yellow, purple, yellow. Except for that day, I'm gonna have to do boxes or something. Um, that's okay. We're gonna make it work. I'm not too worried. Let's see here. Come on. Get down and stay down. <laughs> and then let's put yellow. Actually, I want to do purple again because otherwise it would not look 100% right. Okay. Purple, yellow, purple, purple, yellow, purple. Then I can't do the last yellow just because like it's, there's just no space for it. But I will do at least a box or two. Like, I kinda wanna white out some of the this, these elements here because you can really see through those florals, which is not something that I kind of experienced recently, but a lot of shadowing in those boxes there. Okay, Monday, our actual anniversary. Now let's do a few purple ones and maybe a few more quotes too. I think I'm gonna layer those boxes. Put one up there. Put one down there. Okay. Content with that because I have a box most of the days. I like that. I feel like some of the colors are different though. Oh, I should relabel my days though, because there is like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So Monday, no, you can see it. You can see it enough. Tuesday, which would be here. Wednesday, I guess I should just do all of one color first. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Oh, I just ripped that whole sticker. That was kind of a bummer. Do they have any more Fridays? Jeez, that was no fun. That's okay. We're gonna just start with Thursday as a purple. I guess we're just going to match it to this right here. Thursday. Okay, well, second chance for our Friday. Friday made it. 
Saturday. And one more. Sunday. Sunday. Okay. Then I think let's see if there's any other smaller quotes. Well, I know there's tons of smaller quotes in this book. So let's see what we can do. I want to do sassy quotes because this is supposed to be my my love spread. Um Because, you know, Mike and I's anniversary. Do be happy and believe in yourself. Boop. I kind of want to put this one purple. Maybe this one. I need to find my Uniball Signos. Signo pens. Those are like my favorite pens and I've lost them all. Oh, I kind of want to do this one too. This is find joy in the journey. I just feel like you can't go wrong with colorful quotes. Especially when there's just so many different, um, so many different like shades of colors in your stickers then all the colors would match so nicely. I want to use this one, but I don't know where. So if I use it here, I mean, there's just so much purple up there. But like if I use it there, there's a lot of purple there. Like I can't use it. Dang it. Dang it, Amber. It's all right, just put it somewhere so I can use it later. Let's go back into Layering Basics 2 and grab some more kind of fun layering elements. I just love like the little touch that these give. This one like that. I love filler stickers. I really feel like they kind of just complete like a spread. Cute. Well, I think that's it. I think that is it for my fast, not so fast spread because it's been 17 minutes and I need to punch. So everyone told me to flip the page upside down like this. Is this how you're supposed to do the top one? Okay, I did it, you guys. And then what? And then I go this way. <sighs> I'm kind of, I'm kind of a mess when it comes to this crocodile. I loved the comments on the video. I mean, everyone was like pretty funny about it, but they were just like, I've never had that many issues with my crocodile, and I've had it for years. And I'm like, well, I am not your normal person. I am like, I have no idea what I'm doing. So. <laughs> See, that one didn't punch all the way through. What is that about? How am I supposed to? Okay. Punch! Okay, that time I think it did. It was like left over right there. Okay, I think I got it. Then, we, what, am, what else? I noticed some more stickers sticking out right here. Okay. And I think that's my spread. <laughs> I think I need to be done because it is getting late. It's probably now 9.30 at night and I still need to take a picture, edit this, upload it just really quick before I head to bed. Um, but overall, like this is actually really pretty. Like this looks really good. Functional, cute, but also has like my anniversary colors which is really special to me and like part of why I plan the way that I plan every year on this week specifically. Um, I just love the way that it came out. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Bye babes!